Yes, so guys, it's here, and today we are going to be showing you and telling you how to join the crypt. So make sure you watch the whole video so you know the best tips to join the crypt and how to join the crypt the fastest. Also, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on if you do enjoy this video so you don't miss an upload. Hope you enjoy. Yo, guys, it's me, the most relevant to crypt member, Vedgard here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to join the crypt as a content creator. To be honest, the crypt totally wanted me to do this voiceover, not like I begged them to let me do it. I'm like the most qualified person in this crypt to do this voiceover because I'm the head CC, totally not a manager for the team TikTok account. But that's besides the point, and you guys shouldn't disagree with me because the info is 100% true. Anyways, to join the crypt as a content creator, all you gotta do is post entertaining and funny content. Make people want to watch to the end of the video. Try to keep them engaged 24-7. Kind of like what I'm doing with you right now. Speaking of engagement, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and drop a comment of your favorite color and why you should join the crypt. And by the way, don't tell Circus, but if you want to join the crypt, all you got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, it's Blind. Today I'll be showing you on how to join Fear the Crypt as a player, more specifically a creative warrior. Today I'll be going with some steps on how to join. First of all, you have to be creative and unique. We don't want you to post something every single time that's the same. If you guys are trying to join as a smooth player, just keep on practicing different techniques. Try and nail them down so they can even look even better for us. Second of all, if you guys are trying to become a fast edit for us, make sure to practice and become even more faster. That, that way we know you're improving and we might recruit you. If you guys are trying to join as a creative warrior, we need to see montages, creative montages, so you can highlight your edit skills or your building skills. And that's for it as a creative player. And this has been behind. Peace. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Dash here, and I'm the growth manager of Decrypt. And today I'm going to be telling you how to join Decrypt as a competitive player. Let's get into it. Firstly, we're looking for people with good, consistent placements. This can vary from all tournaments, including LAN events and in game events. Another thing we look for is a decent amount of power ranking, but you do not have to have earnings. But if you do have earnings, you have more of a chance of joining the crypt. Another thing you are looking for is people with good in-game sense and great mechanics. This can be shown through clips, montages, end-game highlights, and other stuff. But the most important thing we look for is good quality posts and good content for our viewers. Also, being active posting highlights and end-game highlights is a great way to join. Just make sure you are using our hashtag, hashtag decryptrc. Overall, everyone has a great chance to join Decrypt as long as you're being active and staying loyal to your grind for Decrypt. Now let's move on to the next way to join Decrypt. Yo, how's it going everybody? Crispy here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can join Team Decrypt as a GFX. So as a whole, Decrypt has been expanding rapidly and growing beyond belief. We're almost at 40k followers now. And overall, we're just looking for new next best GFX and VFX. So there's a few things that you can do to become a VFX for us and to get noticed by us. Um, there's quite a few things that we look for in a GFX. One of those things is that the individual producers work at a constant rate, meaning that we can rely on you to produce something within a period of time without us having to badger you to make it. That's one of the main things that we look for because without that, we re wouldn't really be able to produce anything on our page, such as videos, because we need thumbnails for those. We also wouldn't be able to produce events because we need thumbnails for those to be able to promote them on our page. Um, another thing is that the individual that we are looking at is ready to attempt any task at hand without any complications. So no matter how big or small the task may be, it we just want you to attempt it. This helps us pick out the people that are actually dedicated to being a GFX and want to be in the team compared to how many people aren't dedicated and really don't care about being in the team. Um, the third point, we look for both abstract graphic and 3D graphical designers because we need both people that can create flyers and letterheads and people that can create thumbnails. So those are two completely different things, but we already have 
enough GFX that we can ask people's opinions on those certain types and to find who would best fit the team. Uh, for step four, we would normally look for the greatest quality content. This means that we only look for content that we think would benefit the team as a whole, rather than just choosing some people to join the team just because they want to. Um, so we're only really going to look for people that we think, oh yeah, this guy's going to push the team forwards, whereas this guy's just going to do like one piece of work for us and just use us for clout, if you get what I mean. Um, we also pick out people that use things more like Blender than people that use Pixar. This is because people that use Blender and stuff are typically more better equipped than people that use Pixar. This is because people that use Pixar, in, and this is a joint opinion among everybody in Decrypt, so don't say to me for this. We think that people that use Pixar don't really make the work themselves. If you think about it, pe Pixar users just take stickers and put them on backgrounds. Whereas people that use Blender can create their own renders with whatever skin we ask them to. And they can model it however we want, stick our logo on it on a jersey or something like that. So that's the kind of people that we would look for rather than people that use like apps that give you free renders. Um, for the fifth thing we'd look for, we would look for diversity. So no matter whether you're male, female, whatever, we're still going to look for you. If you're a new GFX and we see you improving like at a rapid rate, then we will... Like, we will notice you. We're not just going to go for people that are, like, high-end people that already have, like, 3,000 or 4,000 followers from doing the effects. We're going to look for people that catch our eye. So, like, those people could just be, like, the most professional people in the world and not catch us eye. And you as an individual, you could produce, like, one thing and we'd be like, oh, my God, that is brilliant. We're going to keep an eye on him because we feel that he's going to push further forwards and he's going to give us what we actually want therefore we can recruit him into the team one point i have to address specifically like as a whole is stolen work if we have even the smallest hunch that you've stolen work then unfortunately we're going to have to remove you from the team unless you have conclusive proof that you haven't this is because we don't want our rep damaged because of something that you've done as an individual if you've stolen work, then we have a responsibility to take it to the public and tell them that you have stolen work and that you are claiming work for your own. That's not something that you should slate us for or that you should be angry at us for. That's just common sense and it's common courtesy to tell the person that you stole work from that you stole it. Um, as a whole, there are multiple ways that you can be recognised by the graphics team here at Decrypt. One of the ways to get noticed, as I said, other than creating really good quality content, you can also use our hashtag DecryptRC. And by doing that, all of your posts will be noticed by us because we check our hashtags daily. And pre we have like three or four people on our hashtags at one time. So you're bound to get noticed if you keep pumping out quality content using our hashtag. Um, one other thing that I have to stress is aesthetic. If you want to be noticed and you want to be picked up quicker make sure that your page looks professional if you have say a logo and then you have like highlights with no covers or you have one color scheme for your logo and then all of your highlights are different color schemes then it's not going to look that good also make sure that you have all of your information in your highlights such as your prices your pro policies and the teams you're already in this is, will just give us a good idea of who you are, how organised you are, and whether we can rely on you to be a professional or not. Um, try and keep your important information in one place, such as your highlights, so that we just know like what we should look out for, such as policies, prices, and other things, so like how long it may take you to make the GFX, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, to wrap this all up, let me tell you a secret on how to get into, well, how to get noticed by me. Just tag me in your posts. Tag me in the posts properly and put me in the caption. Because if I don't see that you've tagged me in the post, if you put me in the caption, I'm bound to see it. Because I'm constantly looking through my feed at comments and stuff like that. So make sure to do that. Um, or it, that'll just make you get noticed easier if you also tag people, like, 
decrypt members as well other than just me um but yeah that's just a little tip for you those of you who watched until the end i wish you all the best of luck and i hope to see you in the team in the future this has been crispy and i'll catch you later